What's up, everybody? It's DHAM. Once again, I want to thank everybody for the love and support over these past few weeks. As you know, CPR saved my life earlier this year on the field. And CPR could easily save your life or someone you love. That's why I'm proud to announce that I'm partnering with the American Heart Association and kicking off the Mar Hamlin's 3 for Heart CPR Challenge. Oh, that's a beautiful Damn, video there. Just seeing yes. him be able to talk as a blessing there. That's again Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin just one month after his dramatic collapse mid-game on the football field announcing a new challenge to help save lives. We all remember when the nation watched the 24-year-old Lane lifeless on the field as medical teams performed CPR. And doctors say that immediate response that we saw most certainly saved his life. And now Hamlin, as you heard, is partnering with the American Heart Association to help all of us learn this life-saving technique. Yes. So joining us here is the CEO of the American Heart Association, Nancy Brown. Nancy, Nancy thank you for being thank here. You. And happy you. National We're Red Day. Yes. Thank yes. you for rocking your red. So let's talk about DeMar because you actually traveled to Buffalo. You got to meet with him. How did that meeting go? What did you guys talk about? How's he doing? You know, Damar is so committed to focus on his challenge so that every person can learn high quality CPR and be equipped to save a life. That is his purpose and his focus. So how does the challenge work? I know you guys are partnering with Damar. We sure are. So Damar has issued a uh, social media challenge for people to do three things. First is go to heart.org slash three to take a to learn hands only CPR via a very quick three minute minute video. Second is to donate to the American Heart Association CPR work. And third is to tag three other friends to continue the challenge. And to Dr. keep it going. Yeah, yes. keep it going. Dr. Jen, let's bring you in yeah. um, because we're talking hands-only CPR. Yeah. And I know we've discussed this mm -hmm. a while back, but let's talk about the differences between hands-only and traditional. Is one more effective? What the American Heart Association realized with their clinical data which they constantly are evaluating and assessing is that the concept of having to do mouth to mouth was actually acting as a deterrent for bystanders to initiate CPR and therefore save a life. And we know that if CPR isn't initiated, 90% of people who suffer an out of hospital cardiac arrest will not survive. So with the data, they said, you know what, let's look at whether not doing mouth to mouth out of hospital can have the same survival benefits. And they found that it could because it's really important to start circulating that blood flow as quickly as possible, more important than doing mouth to mouth. So the steps, very, very important. Immediately initiate 911. Tell someone, call 911, you in the red shirt, call 911 if you're alone. Put your cell phone on speakerphone and, and activate the EMS system. And then you want to go right in between the nipples in the center of the chest, hands only, about 100 to 120 beats per minute. You've heard Staying Alive, Crazy in Love. You can, you can sing those songs to yourself. And do not stop until help arrives. If there is a defibrillator there, use the defibrillator. We've shown people how to talk, uh, how the defibrillators talk people through that. And Damar was defibrillated on the field, we learned. but. They, they acted within seconds. And that is why, DeMarco, when you said it's incredible that he's speaking, you are 100% correct because we have a saying in cardiology, time equals brain and heart function. So every second, every minute that goes by without oxygenation, without defibrillation, without CPR affects your brain. And you heard DeMar is, I mean, it's, it is truly miraculous. Remarkable. And you know, DeMar wants everyone to have the same chance at life that he mm -hmm. had. You know, 350,000 people a year suffer an out of hospital cardiac arrest. And as Jen said, fewer than 10% of those people survive. These are our family members. It's in our homes, in our schools, in our communities, in our workplaces. So everyone deserves an equal opportunity to high quality CPR. And that's why we at the American Heart Association and DeMar have teamed up to make sure everyone has access to knowing how to do high quality CPR. Dr. Ding, you talked about it. How important is it for people to actually know how to do CPR? Because DeMar had a team, you know, had a team of well, doctors. What I on the love about line. this initiative, as Nancy said, in three minutes you can watch a video that could give you the skills to save someone's life and as a doctor as someone who's done out of hospital CPR as well as CPR in a hospital everyone is afraid to jump in there it's a mm -hmm. scary situation what I tell people is you can only help that person right. that person is already technically dead so you don't have to be afraid of making the situation right. worse 
jump in, help, take this course, learn it, and, and you see what you can do. You and even if you that. don't take the course, press hard That's and fast right. in the center of the chest, and saying staying alive, and don't stop until yeah. help arrives. Mm. Wow. All right. Thank you, guys. And Nancy, good to see you as Thank well. You. Thank you. Good to see you both. All right. Again, Jennifer. Nancy Brown, CEO of the American Heart Association. Thanks a lot. Such important mm -hmm. information. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.